There she is, big blue evil, ready to go catch some yetis. Good morning, Aqua Sports fans. How are you doing? I am Ross, and I am coming from the lovely Indian Lake in New Jersey, which is also the lake I live just across the street from. It's also where my boat is moored, uh, AKA Big Blue Evil, which we'll be going out on today. As you can see, by the way, I am sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage. It is already like scorched earth today, uh, which means conditions could be a little bit hard, uh, but that means we can maybe practice our little finesse fishing. Uh, the water's very calm today and luckily it is a no wake day on the lake which means uh, there's not going to be loads of water skiers going around trying to disturb my fishing session. So let's see how it goes. Uh, I haven't fished in two weeks because I'm fresh off the boat from a two week vacation back in the motherland. Um, so if I sound a little bit extra British today, that is why. So uh, let's fish on. But I caught my muskie on a few weeks ago. Z-Man with a little Mega Bass trailer. Let's even bounce this off some rocks. See what's going on. It's really feeling like a worm day. I and mean, it's so freaking hot. Scorched earth hot. And I think everything is just gonna be hiding in the shade. Because this lake is like a freaking sauna. Just one big hot tub. Nailed it. Oh, come on, that is on. Yep, yeah, we're on. There we go, we've got a jumper. Uh, right, but as soon as it hit the water. Here he comes. Oh, he's not a bad size. Not a bad size. Oh, he's a good size. Great start to the day. Oh, he's kicked in. Not bad at all. Good fish to start the day. See you later, buddy. Well, he hit that bait as soon as it hit the water. See if he's got any mates out there, shall we? As soon as we hit the water. Good hook set. Nice little two pound 22 to start the day. Fish on. <sighs> okay. People's favorites. See we'll get some of those lilies. Nailed it. And that's a, and that's a fish on. There we go, look. And that's another. There we go. He's a feisty one, a bit more than the last one. There we go. It's another two pounder, probably, maybe 1.5. A little bit of catch and release action. Watch him swim off. There he goes. Oh, two for the day so far, fish on. All right, looks like we might have some fishing action today. You can see some chilling under those docks. Chatter bait for the winter, eh? My swim bait is starting to come off and I hate this when it does that. Because I have not got any more. Well, I've got some other baits I can use, but I ordered some from Tackle Warehouse when I was in England and they have not arrived yet, unfortunately. Definitely gonna have to go in and get some sun cream. Luckily, I live just across the road. I am that lucky to be able to live somewhere like this. Fish pretty much every day. Oh, that is weed fish. Did I mention it was hot as nuts today? I hate scum. Scum is the worst in the world. Getting into the realms of some pretty heavy scum. I don't know if it's scum. I think what we'll do is we'll work our way back down. Actually, I'm going to go get some tan tan lotion, some more water. We'll just work across this bit to the other side of L. Don't want to burn it in too much because then she just comes to the surface. Don't want to get her too slow because then she hits the bottom and I pull up the scum fish. But like Goldilocks, you've got to get it just right. Stuff rising everywhere today. You'd think with such a hot day it wouldn't be really working too much, but I guess there's no boats out on the water today, which is beautiful. It's literally just people running lawn mowers over the water usually, water skiing. The chances of catching anything when that's happened, pretty slim to none, especially anything big, because it's all spooked. I would like a nice bucket mouth today. My two pounder was a good start, but I would like something three to four today. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Something I have to use a net for. A couple more casts than I need to go get some suntan lotion. 
Yeah, it's nice and shady over here. Maybe there might be something hanging around over here. All right, so I, I just changed my rod. Well, more so for the reel than anything. That other reel was just too slow to get this chatterbait working straight away as soon as it hits the water. This is much better already. There's stuff jumping everywhere. I've got a nice ratio on now. I said one more cast before I go and get some suntan lotion. About 50 casts ago. All right, this time it really is last cast. I'm getting fried alive. I do have my chatterbait stroke swim bait trailer tied onto a rod that is more for crankbaits, but that is because it is a trailer that is a swim bait and I'm swimming it rather than popping it across the bottom. If I was popping it, oh, fish on. She's fighting. She's fighting. They're all fighters today. All right. All right. Come on. There we go. It's another nice two pounder. That's probably two and a half. Nice hook set. Look at that. Nice and easy. There we are. All right. Catch and release footage. Off you go. That's three for the day so far, and it's not even lunchtime. Good day. So, as I was saying, I'm using a lighter tip just because I'm using my chatterbait as a crankbait. Obviously, if I was using a creature trailer or crayfish or worm, whatever, I'd be bouncing off the bottom and you'd want something a little bit stiffer than that. But so far, that's three fish all around two pounds before 11 o'clock on a scorched earth day. I'd say things are going pretty well right now. Oh, I really have to go in and get some suntan cream. I am going to have the worst farmer's tan ever known to mankind today. I hope you're all having fun at work today. It's a Wednesday and I'm not doing anything apart from doing what I love best. Fish on. Oh, fish on. They are fighting today. We might need the net for this one. Oh, he's a big one. He is a big one. Gotcha. Ooh. Thanks for unhooking yourself for me, bird. Not bad. All right, time for a bit of catch and release. Back into the wild, you must go. There you go, matey. Off he goes. All right. So, kudos to my lovely Z-Man chatterbait with Mega Bass tag. You can see it's pretty beaten up now. It's had a few fish. That is what's working today on a nice hot day. Anyway, I gotta go get some suntan lotion. I shall see you again shortly. Fish on. Well, you may notice that I have changed t-shirts, that because my other one had the consistency of a wet wipe, um, but I have just bathed myself in suntan lotion. Uh, the fish are biting, I'm using a chatterbait with a swimmer tail, and it is now 10.53, and I'm on four fish already, two pound or above, basically. So I'm uh, gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna go get some more lunkers. Let's go for the three pound, four pound today, eh? See you in a bit. Right, it's now 12.28, it is roasting hot, scorched earth, cedar devil, roasting hot hell, and all the movement on the top of the water has stopped, and it just completely died. I was catching a fish every about 15 minutes, and it's just died down, which means it's just too hot, and they've probably gone in for a bit. So, instead of sitting out here and frying, I'm gonna go get my Factor 30 that I've been constantly moaning about. Might be in my car. I'm gonna get some lunch from Sergio's. Just do a mean Italian sandwich. Hold the tomato. And uh, later on, that chatterbait I bet is gonna kick back off again. 
and I'm going to come catch some more fish and uh, we will see how it goes. It's a beautiful day. I'm not sad. I've had four before 11 o'clock, all around two pounds, one almost three. So it is by no means over. So I'll chat to you people in a bit. Be sure. Hello again and this time, good afternoon. It's now quarter past two. Uh, I'm now wearing my third t-shirt of the day. Uh, it is still absolutely roasting hot, but the sun has gone behind some clouds for a bit, which could be quite nice and survivable. Uh, during my lunch, I did go get some more swim baits, which I was moaning about, some nice little Kitex. And as I was saying, I also got some sun tan spray. Factor 50 also had to sell a kidney to get this stuff because apparently nowadays it's very expensive if you want to cover up and not get skin cancer uh, but you can't put a price on that again can you seen a bit what's up how you doing <laughs> that was me it's the bait <laughs> dance he's having a dance there we go there we go guys crytech works better catch him please off you go again bud Oh, and I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Did I lose it? Yep, looks like I didn't lose it. Nice. Oops. Sorry, buddy. A bit slippy. Come down. There we go. About pound twelve. Take it. Well, I finally made it back to the sanctity of my air-conditioned house and a nice cold shower. Absolute epic of a day. Caught nine fish in the end. Fortunately, only got six of those uh, on camera. Uh, the other three, uh, nine total, will be on my Fish Brain account. Look me up, the English channel. Um, but an absolutely brilliant day. Sweated for 13 hours straight whilst out in 90 degree weather. Was it worth it? absolutely not at work doing what i love best so until next time stay frosty fish on